Jennifer Garner's remarkably supportive role in ex Ben Affleck's life uncovered. Jennifer Lopez's husband divorced the daredevil actress in 2018. When Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez rekindled their romance in 2021 after more than 15 years apart, fans couldn't contain their excitement. Social media was abuzz with declarations like Let's Get Loud, in tribute to Jennifer's iconic salsa hit, as the beloved couple, who first dated between 2002 and 2004, were spotted sharing affectionate moments in public. Hello! If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated. Three years on, however, it appears that trouble might be brewing for Ben and Jennifer. Reports suggest that the Goodwill hunting actor moved out of their $60 million Los Angeles mansion, their marital home, weeks ago. Amidst these swirling rumors, Ben has been seen at his rented residence in Brentwood, LA, where he has received visits from his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. Jennifer Garner visits ex-Ben Affleck amid divorce rumors. Are Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck really headed for divorce? What we know so far. Ben Affleck hints at status of his marriage to Jennifer Lopez in new photos. How Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner first met. The pair, who share three children Violet, 18, Finn, 15, and Samuel, 12 divorced in 2018 after a 10-year marriage but have remained close friends and co-parents. Despite the UPS and downs in their marriage, Jennifer Garner has consistently described Ben as the love of my life, even after their divorce. As speculation mounts regarding the stability of Ben and Jennifer Lopez's marriage, Jennifer Garner has been a steadfast support for Ben. Ben and Jennifer Garner married in 2005 after meeting on the set of Pearl Harbor five years earlier. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner fell in love at first sight at the time, Jennifer was married to Scott Foley. In 2002, the actors reunited while filming Daredevil, and Ben admitted in a Playboy interview that he fell in love with Jennifer during the production. However, at the time, Ben was engaged to Jennifer Lopez. In 2003, while Jennifer Garner was still married and Ben was still engaged to J-Lo, they appeared together on the talk show Dinner for Five. Jesse David Fox, a production staff member, recalled in a Vulture op-ed that he witnessed Jennifer fall in love with Ben during the filming of the show. Shortly after, Jennifer and Scott Foley announced their divorce, and Ben and J-Lo called off their engagement. By October 2004, Jennifer and Ben publicly confirmed their relationship at a Boston Red Sox game. Despite their Hollywood status, the couple preferred to keep their relationship private, including their intimate wedding ceremony attended by just two guests. Why did Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck split? Over the next decade, Ben and Jennifer Garner welcomed three children and frequently expressed their admiration for each other. Ben famously dedicated a portion of his Golden Globe's Best Director acceptance speech for Argo to Jennifer, saying, I adore you, I love you. You're my everything. However, in 2015, the couple announced their divorce, just weeks after it was reported that Ben had flown the family nanny, Christina Zaunian, to Las Vegas, amid rumors of a romantic relationship, which Ben's representatives denied. In their statement, the couple emphasized their commitment to co-parenting and requested privacy during the difficult time. Despite their separation, Ben and Jennifer Garner have remained dedicated co-parents and have consistently supported each other publicly. In a 2016 interview on The Today Show, Jennifer discussed how she and their children flew to London to be with Ben during the filming of Justice League. He and I are great friends, and we just all went en masse, she said. Jennifer's compassion and support for Ben have been particularly evident during his battles with alcohol addiction. After a stint in rehab in 2001, Ben returned to treatment in 2017 and 2018. Following his 2017 rehab stay, Ben thanked Jennifer for her unwavering support in a public statement. I'm lucky to have the love of my family and friends, including my co-parent, Jen, who has supported me and cared for our kids as I've done the work I set out to do, he wrote. In 2018, after a wild partying stint with a Playboy model, Jennifer and their children staged an intervention, prompting Ben to enter rehab once again. Jennifer drove an emotional Ben to the live-in rehab facility, The Canyon, in Malibu. After completing his treatment, Ben released another statement expressing gratitude for the support he received from his family, colleagues, and fans. Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck post-divorce. Both Ben and Jennifer Garner have continued to speak fondly of each other. In a 2020 interview with the New York Times, Ben referred to their divorce as the biggest regret of my life. Jennifer has also paid tribute to Ben publicly, such as in a 2018 Father's Day Instagram post, where she praised him for his love and dedication to their children. Amid fears that Ben might relapse, Jennifer has stepped in to support him once more, with reports suggesting she is also helping his current wife, Jennifer Lopez. 
Reports claim that Lopez has turned to Garner for guidance, as she is one of the few people who can fully understand her situation. Garner was seen at Ben's Brentwood residence, just hours after they attended their son Samuel's basketball game in Santa Monica. Rumors of a possible split between Ben and Jennifer Lopez have circulated for weeks, especially after the couple had not been seen together in public for 47 days and Ben did not attend the Met Gala with J. Lo. Although they were recently spotted together in LA, the appearance did little to quell speculation about the state of their marriage. Thanks for watching till the end.